Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today's workout, we are doing a 10 minute basics dumbbell beginner workout. So we'll get this done full body in 10 minutes. I'm gonna be using my regular light dumbbells. You can always do range of motion. You can use those water bottles or wrist weights if you have those. You can always do the workout modified and seated. Remember, doing what is best for you. So grabbing your equipment, always having that water close by. We'll be doing each exercise for 30 seconds, giving ourselves 10 seconds rest in between each one. So grab your equipment, have everything close by. Meet me back here for our very fun 10 minute basics beginner dumbbell workout. Welcome back. We're ready to get started. I'm using my timer, just that little reminder for you. So if you hear those beeps, that's what it is. 10 seconds of break, 30 seconds of work. We're not going to hold any equipment for our first 30 seconds of work because I want us to just kind of march and warm up, loosen up the body. All right. So I'm going to start the timer. We have 10 seconds before we really get into it. Timer has started. Let's just start with a basic march. Abdominals are tight. We're just warming everything up before we grab those dumbbells. Remember, core stays tight throughout the entire workout. Lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders down. Let's just kind of tap side to side and shoulder roll back. And now just open and close those arms. Good job. Loosen it up, side to side, tap. Back to that march, little shake out. Grab your dumbbells. Our first movement we are doing is our basic back pull. Feet are planted, shoulder distance apart, hinging forward. Squeeze upper back, release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep the length in your spine. Go at your pace. Good form, bend in those knees, hinging forward. So gravity makes the upper back do the work. Good job, little shake out for 10 seconds. Next thing we're doing, our bicep curls. Palms face towards me, keep the elbows close to the side of the body. Sturdy base, feet shoulder distance apart. Curl up, release down. Don't let the elbows jut forward. We want the biceps, top part, front of the arm to do the work. <sighs> Exhale as we exert our energy to bring those weights up. Inhale, inhale. Good job, knee raise next. We're going to stay on right side. So if you need to hold on to something with left hand, do so. Dumbbell goes onto your right thigh. Lift up, release, lift up, release. Abdominals pulled in tight, slight bend in that standing knee. Focus on the quadricep, leading that knee up. Contract, release. Exhale, inhale. Core tight, lengthen the spine, relax those shoulders down. Same thing, left side. Dumbbell goes on the left quadricep, holding on or just holding on to that dumbbell in your right hand, slight bend in that standing knee. Lift, release, lift, release. If you're trying to keep your balance, it's nice to find a point you can keep your gaze on. Helps the core pull in to that point when you start to wobble a little bit. Good job, foot down. Kickbacks are next. So planting those feet, slight bend in the knee joint, hinging forward at the hips, 
Elbows stay nice and high. Think about just the hand, the dumbbell, and the forearm moving. Rest of the arm is locked in place. Strings are holding those elbows high. Extend, release. Slow controlled triceps, upper part back of the arm now. Always have a nice base, nice and tall. Little shake out, side raises, focusing on top of the shoulders, alternating, not swinging those weights. Right, no higher than shoulder level, left. Not lifting from the hand, not lifting from the elbow. Shoulder leads the way, the rest of the arm just follows behind. Exhale on that exertion, remember. I'm gonna do one more just to make sure I'm even. Good job, side leg raise next. Dumbbell on the outer part of the right thigh. Remember, you can hold on with the left hand. Bring that leg out to the side. Now focus on leading from your heel because we want our hip, our outer thigh, and our gluteals to do the work. As Soon as we point our toes up towards the sky, we're going right back to the front of the leg like we did with our knee raise. So it gets to the quadricep and the hip flexor. Lateral movement, side of the body doing the work here. Heel is being pulled out from that string. Shake out of that standing leg, same thing other side. Dumbbell on the left outer thigh, holding on with the right hand if we need to. Slight bend in that standing knee. Lead from your heel. Finding that point, keeping your gaze on it. Core pulled in tight, relax your shoulders down. Good job, little shake out. Next, back to upper body rotator cuff. Still holding on to both of our dumbbells, palms are facing up. Glue those elbows into the side of the body. Nice, firm base. Open together. Slow and controlled. Open together. Getting into those rotator cuffs, deep in those shoulders. Working on that range of motion and strengthening. Controlled, elbows stay close to the side of the body. Don't let them jut out. Good job, little release. Back to lower body again. Back of the legs now, focusing on hamstrings. Just the right side is gonna do the work. Flexing the foot, bring it behind you, release. Curl back, release. So feel as if you're trying to kick yourself with your heel. So that knee's not going forward. It's staying in alignment with your hip. The heel goes back. We're flexing the foot. That's engaging our hamstring. We're staying nice and tall, core tight. A little shake out of that standing leg. Same thing, other side. Equal pressure, ball of our foot to our heel. Slight bend in that knee. Flex that left foot, bring it up behind you. Curl back, release. Squeeze, release. Range of motion different for everyone. It may only come a couple of inches off the ground, perfectly fine. You're contracting the back of the leg. That's what we're working on. Good job, little shake out. Heel raises are next. Feet shoulder distance apart. Just gonna go high onto the balls of both feet. If this is too much of a balance challenge, please hold on to something with one or both hands. You can release those dumbbells down. <sighs> Strengthening now the lower part of the legs, those calf muscles, those ankle joints, our feet.
crown of the head straight up towards the sky. Try not to lose that good posture. Good job. Release one of your dumbbells down. Two hands on one dumbbell. Front raises. Bend in the elbow joints. Straight in front of you. Release it down again. No higher than your gaze. Front of the shoulder, small muscle group. Again, we're not swinging. We're making the muscles do the work. Core really has to engage because as soon as that long lever goes in front of you, the body wants to follow. We're keeping the core tight, staying nice and tall. Good job, little shake out. One more movement. Weight comes nice and close to the body before we do our cool down. Focus is on chest. We're gonna press it at a slight diagonal like you're placing something on a shelf, bringing it back in. Place it on the shelf, bring it back in. Again, a lot of core work, getting that lengthening and strengthening in the chest. Lengthen, bring in. Place it on the shelf, bring it back down. Good job releasing that dumbbell down. Just gonna do a couple little movements. We'll keep that timer going. Just march those legs, shake those arms out. Side to side, open and close. Work the entire body in 10 minutes. Should feel good. Go back to a regular march and just march those feet. Shrug it up, release it. Shrug it up, release. Circle them to the front, circle around. Two more that direction. And bring them to the back. Circle them back for three, for two, for one. Little scoop, so I want you to put your right heel down, scoop it forward, come up. Left, scoop it forward, come up. So stretching through the back of the leg, through that calf through that hamstring, through the gluteal, through the lower back. Let's do one more on each side. Let's march it back out. Just shake those arms out. Let's end with two big deep inhales and exhales. Big deep inhale, lengthen up and exhale one more time. Big deep inhale, length up and around. Exhale, release it out. You did an amazing job completing your 10 minute basics beginner dumbbell workout. I am so proud of you. I look forward to our next fun workout together.